Hello and welcome to the show. It's Monday night. We are talking English because we have a wonderful guest. You guys already saw him. Uh, first words of the show after me. Go to our guest. Welcome to the show, D'Angelo Fulford. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. I'm happy to be here, man. Great. And also, uh, every time to my far left side, welcome Max. Max, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Paul. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. <laughs> you nice. missed the applause uh, on your soundboard. This one. Nah. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> Yeah, um, welcome to everybody who true tuned already in. We're gonna have an hour full of Raiders content for you guys out there. We're gonna um, do, um, what's the English word? A giveaway. Yeah, we're gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna give away some European League of Football official trading cards from last year with hopefully only Raiders players inside. So, for everybody who wants to win that, the rule is pretty easy. Just give us a sub or spend a sub on the chat to anybody there and you can win these cards and we're going to send them to you if you are living in europe if you are from the states sorry we can't ship that to you it would be too expensive we probably give it to d'angelo and then when he's home and he uh, bring it back in october <laughs> yeah Something exactly like you get it then in, in november um yeah so first words uh, and first question of the night is always how are you doing how was your day how are you feeling how is your mood how is how how are you I was doing good. Um, got a workout in this morning. Uh, got into the lab with the guys as far as like on the film board and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, just continuing to build this team chemistry that we got going here. I mean, aside from that, the landscape is beautiful out here. So I'm from Miami, so the it's really, really flat. And uh, to wake up and be in the mountains every day is is, is insane. So uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm just blessed. I'm I'm happy to be here. Nice, Max. How are you doing? I heard you had a family. Uh party on saturday yeah. yeah we had a baptism on on saturday actually actually and i was the godfather so it was pretty nice uh my biceps are pretty sore from, from holding holding the baby <laughs> i'm not used to welcome to my world yeah. so yeah i'm obviously kind of tired today uh it was a stressful day but <laughs> it's uh, monday yeah the party was on saturday no it not from the party the party was quite chilled so, <laughs> but but still sore and still tired <laughs> Yeah, um, so perfectly fine. <laughs> How about you? Um, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm tired, but um, positively tired because we had a long Raiders weekend with a great camp on um, Saturday and Sunday from the ELF team and with a great cheerleading championship on Saturday and a really great win of our AFL team. And we're going to talk about it a little bit later. But yes, it was a long weekend, but a good weekend. And um, yeah, I'm happy now that we have such a um, great guest and <laughs> I'm looking forward to get to know you and uh, chat to get to know you a little bit more. Um, ELF Vikings fire is happy that you are from Miami because she's a Miami Dolphins. Fan. Oh, there we go. There we go. Diehard Dolphin fan, hopefully. You um, too? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's tattooed on my shoulder, but there's no, like, if I was on an NFL team, there's no bias. It's just, ah. I'm from right there. I can, from my high school's field, you can see the Dolphin Stadium. Oh, great. So, yeah, most of. Can you remember when the Miami Dolphins cheerleader did this one video? I think they were the first with um, this, call me. Call me maybe. Call me maybe. Yeah, with the, in the bus, like. That was I was also a Dolphins fan at that time. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you still are, so it fall. must have been good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, first, we're going to start with um, your emojis, with your billboard behind you. We say hello to everybody, to every guest. And you choose today three um, emojis. And maybe let's explain it a little bit. The first one. Yeah, so... Um I picked the world emoji just or the globe just because this is my first time over in Europe. And so I just thought it was pretty cool that that was there. Um, the popcorn is uh, a little bit of something for the fans. Like, I'm excited to be here and I plan to, you know, do my part on the field. So get your popcorn ready. And then following that up with uh, champagne, or as Cody <laughs> likes to say, champagne. We're going to uh, hopefully be celebrating with some of that towards the end of this season. So, yeah. Um, I know it's step by step and week by week, but you know, uh, the guys that are here, I'm just really confident about and the little family we got is, yeah, I'm excited. 
great, great. Now, um, a little thing. Yeah, thank you, Ricardo. On our screen now, yeah. Um, yeah, the chat is back up on our screen. Chat, if you have questions to Max, D'Angelo, or myself, please feel free and write them in the chat. And again, a little reminder, if you want to win this box of a lot of official trading cards of the ELF, just sub in. If you are Amazon Prime member, you have one sub free, just sub in and you have the chance to win it. We're going to ship it to you. If you live in Europe, you're going to get that in the next week. But you need to sub in and then we're going to raffle it at the end. Um, yeah, so that was a nice explanation. Yeah, the world is, I think that's that's cool. The second one you choose it, popcorn and champagne. I like and I hope, like you said, the team is going to put up a show in the stadium um, very, very soon. Good. Um, Max. AFL, let's talk about it. Max, let's former AFL D-line coach. d you might not know it, but Max coached and played also uh, with me and yeah, coached for a long time yeah. the AFL team. <sighs> Saturday, d you were at the stadium, Max at the baptism, but we all know the score, 30-0 against the Salzburg Ducks. Um, Max, how, how cool is it? It is very, very cool. Uh, obviously, winning back-to-back -back is very nice. I think it's a, it's a great... Uh, motivator going forward I mean now I think we still got um, four games left and two of those will be quite hard two of those should be should be doable I mean if we can get a surprise one in the two hard ones um, playoffs still in the mix mm -hmm. so uh, it's a reason to celebrate absolutely the loaded team is three and three now um, offense put quite a good show on the field did you enjoy it watching the game how was it for you oh it was cool um just kind of getting used to like the atmosphere out here the, the little touchdown song the ooh, yeah. La, la. <laughs> yeah hey look so i'm i'm with it um but yeah i mean the guys were lighting it up out there the defense was hitting pretty pretty hard um so yeah so shout out to them and i just hope that they can build on it mm -hmm. absolutely and you said it the defense played really good um Especially the D-line. You coach some of these guys. Now also Alessandro De Cassin is on that team. And he he had, I think, four or five sacks at that day. Um, yeah, it was pretty pretty impressive to watch. And now the guys going to have a bye week because there's an under-20 national team camp. They're going to prepare for the World Championship, um, which is happening very soon in July, I think. Yeah. Where is this going to be played? I think it's Canada. If I'm not wrong, I think it's Canada. Yeah, yeah. and hello to everybody in the chat and greetings to Vienna and everywhere else. And uh, yeah, be active in the chat. Write things in there, like also to each other. And like something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, good. Then, um, yeah, the AFL game was great. The, the other teams, what also impressed me was the win by the Vikings against uh, Graz, which was like, they were both unbeaten and the Vikings won by a lot. And uh, the Dragons had a hard game in Prague, but they also won it. And um, so now the standing is that the Vikings are on the first, then the Giants, then the Dragons, then the Panthers, and then us on fifth. And we need to get to the for us four to go to the playoffs and for that we're gonna need a win hopefully against one of the stronger ones yeah on the same day there were also a game of our division three team they had a away game and unfortunately they lost it um i heard it was not easy because some guys were injured some guys were missing but um all the best to you guys out there to our d3 game in two weeks you're gonna have a home game we have a double header First you guys and then the AFL team against the Vikings. So that's going to be great. And we all going to looking forward to that game day. And cheerleading. How important is cheerleading, D-Lo? You coming from a big school, <laughs> from a big high school, big college. So high, cheerleading was probably always around you, right? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say big college. I went to a Division three powerhouse. But uh, now our cheerleaders used to do push-ups after every touchdown and it wasn't like just seven each time it was like seven then 14 then oh really 21. we averaged 55 points a game wow. in college so like <laughs> so the cheerleaders say, were ripped they were yeah they were strong i got <laughs> i got some homegirls that were cheering yeah. for them and they were like really Again, we're doing 70 now thanks you know but uh, 
<laughs> but no, I mean they're they're just as important as anybody else. I mean, um, they're athletes. Yep. They they're getting the crowd hyped up and getting them back in the game. So. Yeah, everybody plays their part. Absolutely. And they had their championship last Saturday, uh, Tyrolean State Championship. And um, our girls um, got a couple of goals and a couple of really good performances. And also our dance teams were quite successful. And we're going to announce the results and some photos relatively soon. So go and follow our channels and also the Radar Witch channels, our cheer and dance channel to be always on top with the news around the girls right max yes and also make sure mm. to follow the pretty new flag football um social media channels yeah. where ricardo is part of it yeah. and uh they also gonna have a home game soon and then come and support flag football because flag football is olympic uh what do you think about that dilo uh it's been cool to see how it's grown um especially being from south florida like we have some of those top like some of the top USA teams, we got guys from the crib that are on that team. And uh, yeah, man, shout out Pablo. I know he's not watching this, but <laughs> that dude, like it's it's crazy to see how that's grown. Um, hopefully it doesn't take away from the tackle game too much. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm always for the advancement of football. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they had the little, the youth uh, flag the day school, the other day. The yeah. school state championships were there too, right? <laughs> yeah. um, I also had a discussion with, with Flo, our, our youth coordinator. He said flag football is a completely own sport. Do you see it as the same? Because I say, no, it's catching and throwing. It... Uh, I wouldn't say that. Um, it definitely teaches. I mean, to me, it's just cool because being over from the States and being here, like you would expect to see kids kicking a soccer ball around, and now they're not. They're throwing a football. So, um, but no, I mean, they're, it, it's, it's in its way, it's its own sport. Just like arena football is different than regular 11 on 11. CFL is different with 12 on 12. Um, so there's different tactics and things you use. But uh, no, I mean, it's still football at mm -hmm. the end of the day. You still got to throw it, still got to catch it, still got to play defense. So what what would you do if Team USA football calls you and say, hey, do you want to be our flag quarterback at the Olympic Games in L.A.? I got business to handle in two bowl first. <laughs> True that. <laughs> Great answer. Um Gary, yes, we will see your prime sub in total somewhere, but not in the chat. That's right. But we will, yeah, we will go, we're going to check it. Ricardo is checking it at, <laughs> if if we see it. We're going to do the raffle at the end of the show. Um, yeah, flag football is Olympic. Flag football is cool. F kids are playing flag football. A lot is going on here. That's right. Okay. Max, because I got to ask a lot if, if I want to join the flag football pro program. Uh, Ricardo's asking me every day, uh, would you join? If you join, <laughs> if oh. you join, then I'm gonna join. <laughs> like, hey, Ricardo, do you guys then need they two gotta, fat guys playing well, flag football? Gotta doctor <laughs> and then, first. then they got that's the first move person to, to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was biking yesterday, right? And I, my body today is like, wow, but I did some <laughs> downhill. Yeah, man, after so. 25, you're just holding on. Uh, but I had my prime with the 30s. I think also your biological prime is around the 30s, right? How so, old are so. you? And then it's just going down. After that, you go to go down. Huh? You said in your 30s. Third, three, zero. Yeah, yeah. But like the 30s go from 30 to 40. Yeah. So how I'm old still, are you? Still still in the 30s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But at the end of that. So you're in your prime right now. No. You look like you're in your prime. Yeah, whatever. Um... Then there was also a big, big news last week. Our club. So for the people who don't know, we have the club and we have the franchise, right? And the club with over a thousand members is now partner of the company called Nike. Or some people would say Nike. Yeah, you see most. it on my, my chest here. We are partners now. Very proud partners. We partnered up with 11 Team Sport, Nike and Kicks. And uh, we're going to have these crew neck sweaters and also some great shirts already on the shop. So check it out. RaidersShop.at. It's got a cool shirt with swoosh and Raiders under it. And they're going to come more items. So if you want to have your newest merch, go on the shop and check it out. And unfortunately, we are not shipping to the States. Sorry for that if you looking forward to that um Paul, quick question is yes. there a possibility to buy the nike stuff also at the games of course of course there were already the possibility on saturday at the game day uh -huh. and um, there will be the possibility on saturday at our fan day fan day do you know what it is yeah, yeah. i mean 
I'm, kind of? Did the guys told you? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited to meet some more people in the community and things like that. Um, so get there, bring a friend, tell a cousin, bring your dog. I don't know if dogs are allowed, but yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. bring everybody. Bring everybody to the field. We're going to have some cool things. It's going to be drinks, food, uh, merchandise, music, and uh, then you can go to the field and uh, meet your stars like d and all the other guys. Um Was there something similar at college that people were allowed to watch practice or like a meet and greet thing? Or was it more? It was always after the season um, when we won the national championship. Like our, our school had a, a very strict program. Like you could go 14 and 0, lose the last game of the season and there's no banquet or nothing like that. Okay. <laughs> so when we won. The expectations were quite high, huh? At your yeah, school. So, but when we won though, you were allowed to like come in afterwards, bring like a, like a championship banner or a t-shirt or whatever you wanted signed. And you know, Hey, Hey you. Yes, exactly. You did you already subscribe to our YouTube channel? If not do it now down there and activate the bell. So you will never miss Raiders content again. Thank you for your support. And now you can continue watching. Um, so yeah, take advantage of the opportunity. We'll be out there on the fan day on the 11th, right? It's Saturday. It's Sunday, it's, right? No, it's Saturday. Or Saturday the 11th. It's Saturday the 11th. Max, help us out. Do you have your phone? Let me check. <laughs> eight, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's This, the 11th. Uh, yep, perfect. It is. Yeah, so get it there. Is. Yeah. Bring some friends. Let's Hang around. Time. And uh, your left team is gonna have a full practice, a scrimmage practice. They're gonna go black against white so white is our offense black is our defense that's why it's called white against black scrimmage and um then there's gonna be like this meet and greet and um yeah it's gonna be really really cool i will be there too and max will you be there too no i will not be there because, because you I'm are gonna in? be Where's in uh you italy yeah actually i got something like yeah like Buddhist, man. like uh <laughs> Like ah, that, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, a couple more booze for you. Yeah, make yeah. it count, nah. <laughs> But I'm gonna Max be has a good reason yeah, I'm why he's in not Italy there. because my wife uh, is um, also gonna be at the Italian cheerleading competition. Uh, it's nice. called the Gardenland Open, which uh, our teams are gonna participate in, and I'm gonna be around. Yeah. So, so you are on holiday. Yeah, basically. Yeah. You are on holiday, Annalena is doing some serious things, and you are at the lake and yeah. having a good time. Exactly. I get that. While we are at the fan day, which is... Awesome. And you are having a good time too, right? Of course. Yeah. It's always great to see all the Raiders fans and to be uh, at the football center and watch some 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 scrimmage. It's perfect. Looking forward. Um <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was a mistake to give you the soundboard, Max. Uh, probably it was. Yeah. Talking about autographs and meet and greet, D'Angelo, you have oh, to yeah. sign your autograph for our wall of fame. Right so now. right now, yeah, we're going to put it up there. It's behind Max. You are the third one who is going to be up there after Richie and Berend. And there's a silver and a white one. Uh, maybe it's oh you do this yeah perfect so for everybody who's not watching it but listen it listening to it he's now signing his autograph and max will no ricardo do it again <laughs> ricardo are you here <laughs> Yes, and uh, great. And if you want to have an autograph from d nice. then come on Saturday to our fan day. So, um, we have another sub in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you um, for the sub. <laughs> Perfect. Why, why are you laughing? You didn't want to read the name? <laughs> <laughs> It's too small. I actually can't read it. And I probably... It's something you would probably... I would read, read out it, if right? you hadn't yeah, yeah, had that bad experiences school. with names. Make it bigger, so let me... <laughs> just, you, you can just go with Steve from Minecraft. Okay, Thanks, Steve, Steve from Minecraft. Steve from Minecraft, thank you very much <laughs> for, for your sub. You're going to have also the chance to win these beautiful European League of Football trading cards. 
Yeah. So for everybody else, just sub in or give the sub to somebody and then you have the chance to win it. Good. Um, so Max will be at Garda Open. We're going to be at the Fan Day. And it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Weather going to be nice. I heard the ELF team is also doing some team activity afterwards, right? You guys going to go somewhere? Oh, yeah. So I've heard. Um, should be interesting. Should I mean, be interesting. I, what happens I, in the team stays in the team, right? It's my a, rule is just don't leave me. We'll be all good. <laughs> you guys go to the mountains. so Yeah, like I said, just I'll go anywhere with you. Just don't leave me. <laughs> no, we will not. We will not. Good. Did I miss something from the last days? Max, help me. Not really. We had AFL, we had D3, we had cheerleading, we had the Nike Corporation. Uh, no. We had a signing. Yes, we had. Did we talk about it? Mm -hmm. Thomas Aronokale? No, we back. did not. We did not. Thomas is back. Um, you met him. He's, yeah, you like him. <laughs> he is a, he's a big, big man. Played college football. Started playing football for us. Brother of Stanley Aranokale and then went D1. Um, went to OU, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Learned his O-line craft, craft there. Was also at high school in the States. Came back um, to, to Innsbruck and now he plays for us. Um, I already lost at the lottery. Just shot the ears right and can't take it anymore. <laughs> Try it. You have the chance. Try it. Um, so Thomas is back. Um, How how important, I mean, Thomas is, for the people who know, Thomas growed a lot. For I mean, for, when he left Europe, uh, yeah, Europe and Austria, he was he was still a young guy. He went to high school, right? Hey, now he came back. He's like, wow, he's, he's a giant. A, he's a giant. Yeah. Uh, how important is it for you, Dilo, to have like giants in front of you? Uh, well, crazy that as big as he is, he's still not remotely close to being the tallest nor biggest, but... True. <laughs> um, having another guy like that on the offensive line is huge for us. Um, that's like, you know, another another fold in the in the cloth that we have at our disposal. And um, it's only going to make us a better team, better competition and practice for our defensive line. And, uh, yeah, I keep reusing the word excited. It might have been overused for me this month. But, um, yeah, the, the, the excitement is real because we got a we, we got a pretty good team stacking mm -hmm. up here. Um, when when you watch football, there are differences differences is that the right word? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in offensive lines there's i think in the nfl it moves a lot direction tall athletic right then you still have colleges which had which have these big like yeah so there's 300 like a, pound guys it's all, and it's all depending on what how you was want. it yeah how was it at your school at at, uh, oh, at your um, college well i was division three so yeah. like what we talk about in the states the biggest difference um in offensive line and defensive line well that's the biggest difference in the divisions like i went to a school where we had a lot of good skill players that could have probably played at the next level or a higher yeah. level like fcs or fbs but um my offensive line and defensive line were all the size of guards Like they were all six three, mm. around that two eighty to three hundred mark. Um, and then you move up a, a division, and now it's now they're all six four, six five, mm. and then you get to like you know SEC type where they're all six 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 eight. And you know, then you so. come to the Raiders, and you have Oscar with Oscar seven be seven feet tall and pass, <laughs> he's seven. He's six eleven and three hundred and sixty pounds, and can move and can move. Yeah, he can move. So. Um, Yeah, here comes that word again. Excited. I yeah. mean, these guys are these guys are competing, and they get to see like their growth from the first day we got here to now. A couple weeks later, the work Coach Eager's been doing with them. Um, yeah, it's been huge. It's been yeah. huge for us and our team, and gives me all the confidence in the world to stand back there and let it fly to the these other guys. I know Toby and the running backs are happy. <laughs> the holes that they're running through are massive. So, um, yeah, we're all we're all excited, and it's just going more fuel uh, more fuel to the fire for us. Absolutely. Um, if you want to see Oscar and Coach Eager, um, check out our latest Instagram reel. Max, did you saw that? I saw it. Uh, yeah, I seen it. And you saw also Oscar in real life already? No, no unfortunately no. not. But it's funny because you see Coach Eager is in the focus, right? And, yeah. and, and Oscar is just standing behind next to, to Günther, which is also a big guy, but it's just like there's <laughs> like differences between humans yeah uncle charlie is asking how different is the preseason compared to college here with the raiders well how, how, um, how can you well you... it's longer here um granted it's spaced out because guys aren't just on a campus with each other like you know some of our guys work um 
other guys are in university right now still. But um, I mean, my preseason in college was two weeks long, followed by a pretty, pretty bad conditioning test. And then <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we're right into the season and we're ripping and rolling. So um, here, not really too different other than, you know, the practices are now spread out instead of just being compacted in the two weeks. But I think that allows us to kind of refine our process and our craft. Um, definitely gives time for guys to learn the playbook, for me to build chemistry with the receivers and things like that. So, um, no, it's been nice. I mean, I can't really complain too much. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, as far as hey. everything else. the <laughs> just me. <laughs> I didn't do shit. The, uh, <laughs> Sorry. The film meetings are the same. They're still uh, pretty intense and pretty grueling. But, uh, you know, nitpicking is not always a bad thing when you're trying to look for something wrong. So, mm -hmm. yeah, fixing all the little mistakes, getting ready for the season. Great. You said you had a bad um, conditioning. Yes. Like, are we as the Raiders still doing the FSU drill? Mm, no, I don't think so. Not this offseason. Oh. Not this year, but uh, my conditioning test in college was 20 down and backs. Uh, skill positions had 14 Full seconds. Field? Well, no, half gassers, but it was like down back one, down back two. But like it's uh, sideline to sideline or end zone to sideline. Side side yeah. yeah, but it was it's 20 of them. Yeah. It's wow. quarterbacks, wide receivers, and DBs have 14 seconds. Running backs, linebackers, 15 D line 16, O line 18. But as soon as you get back, that starts your minute clock. So mm -hmm. we run every minute on the minute. And when you're a QB and you have a bunch of other guys behind you that all want to beat you out and they're taking turns with who runs first and who runs fastest. And yeah, it can uh so it, there, there it were, get intense. <laughs> there <laughs> were already competition in the in oh, the yeah, but competition test. Yeah. Iron lessons. sharpens iron. Literally, and I went to a school. We had um, a pretty massive um, recruiting class every year. Like, I mean, I came into college. We had 16 quarterbacks total on the roster. 16? 16 quarterbacks. There was probably... How is that working then in practice? It's more than we the have, whole ELF has. Yeah, we have <laughs> more, well, we have, we have two big practice fields, and we can have offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, like four full yeah, team wow. players going. Um, but that's just a shout out to the coaches that we had there able to manage that. And then by the end of the season, there's four quarterbacks. And then the next recruiting class comes in mm -hmm. with 10 quarterbacks and the cream of the crop rises. Guys that aren't built for competition and don't have that type of character development. And they kind of fizzle out or, you know, you don't blame a guy yeah. for wanting to go compete somewhere else and get on the field right away. But um, I stayed true to the process. I started as a true freshman there. Um, I was 1A, 1B the first four weeks of the season. What so does like, it mean, like Group A, Group B? Like no, nah, like uh, literally, me and him were both good enough to be starters. Mm -hmm. But he had came in um, in the December before school started, so he left school early. But um, we were rotating the first two weeks or first four weeks of the season, but it was every two drives, and then eventually it was like, hey, uh, D'Angelo's number one, everybody else is number two, yeah. and then from there on, it was just competition yeah, every year. Yeah. But I don't know. I think it makes you play better when you know you got somebody else behind you that can, you know, push the tempo and push the pace. So I've never been one that's scared of competition. You'll hear me say that a lot. Like, I love it. Like, I'll tell the defense in practice, like, hey, man, bring it. <laughs> you know? But it's only going to make us better. And like I said, in all those film meetings, you know, we're just troubleshooting and, you know, we're getting all the little kinks and stuff figured out early. Absolutely. Um, let's talk a little bit about your your... Your history, your football history, and your your life a little bit, um, Max. All you were already in Miami or in Florida, right? Nope, no, never. Too? Ah, me too. Me never. So, but I got you guys. Just come on. I got yeah, you. all right. But, I'm gonna but keep, keep what I heard, it's a state of athletes, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, and what what, what <laughs> we athletes and elderly, right? <laughs> Problem. Uh, the elderly are usually like snowbirds from other, like, either European. Or are you calling them snowbirds? Yeah, they because they down, have they, they have gray hair. The, no, they come down for the winter time and clog yeah. up traffic. Ah, that's right. <laughs> that's... You'll see like Quebec. You'll see New York, Jersey. You'll see some oh, like foreign license plates or yeah. people that are cussing you out in a different language. At the <laughs> stoplight. And, yeah, but so let's stay with the athletes. Um, um florida state of athletes because every time i see a video from miami and the beaches you know everybody's like ripped and it's like a little bit like it's like the culture down there for sure <laughs> so um how 
and when did it happen that you decided to be uh, an athlete? How young was it, and how was your your first touches with sport? Uh, that started when I was like three or four years old. Um, I was a pretty hyperactive kid to say the least. And instead of putting me on some like ADD or ADHD, mm. yeah, like yeah, whichever one, the, yeah, the energy yep. one. Uh, my mom was like, screw that and put me in a sports right away. So soccer and baseball were my first two. And then, um, how old have you been? Three, maybe four okay. years old. <laughs> so T ball, soccer, just running up and down, yeah. the, you know, the field and stuff. But, um, when I was eight, my, me and my uncle and I always tell this story, but me and my uncle were, uh, throwing a football on the field and I throw this thing probably like 30 yards, perfect spiral. And he stops and he's like, Michael, <laughs> which is my mom's name. <laughs> she's like, Michael. We're signing him up tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> for PB football. Man. Yeah, for, yeah, exactly. And so, like, from nine years old to now, I've been playing tackle football, and I mean, it's always been a like a place of therapy for me. Like, yeah. I love being on the field when I'm in between those lines. I'm not thinking of anything else. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah, just kind of built my way up. My first year was the only year that I didn't play quarterback. I was an athlete. I was just playing wherever coach mm -hmm. put me. And then, um, I don't know. I played pitcher in baseball, so I'm used to having the ball in my hand and. When I didn't have the ball in my hand in football, I wasn't the happiest. And so, um, yeah, coach was like, well, hey, you can throw. Let's, you know, see how accurate you are. And the rest is kind of history. So your uncle is kind of the reason that you're a football athlete and For sure. and not maybe a soccer guy or baseball or basketball or uh, something. Nah, I would how? say he just opened that door. But baseball, my heart just wasn't in it. Like I played that, all the, I played that all the way up to uh, senior year of high school, and then I went up against a couple guys that were like third round draft pick in the major league, and he's throwing like ninety five mile an hour gas down the wow. middle, and I'm like, yeah, nah, but that's, <laughs> crazy. that's crazy, you know. So um, yeah, no, I got, I got the again, just the athletes in South Florida. I couldn't even tell you. I mean. The guys I played against in high school football wise, like I played against both Bosa brothers, Devin Bush, uh, Stanford Samuel. Like, I think my class that I came out in, I graduated in 2020. You see, um, 17 first round draft picks from from wow. South Florida, oh. like just first round. Like they all went to different colleges, obviously, yeah. but like in, in the first same. round NFL guys. Yeah, and so it's like that competition and culture down south just kind of bleeds yeah. in everything else I do. Absolutely. Um, just a short reminder: if you want to get the trading cards, you you gonna have to sub to the channel. <laughs> There's something else going on here. Yeah, now we we just have secrets. Uh, that's okay, but you know that you have microphones. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> If you want to win these uh, wonderful cards, <laughs> just uh, sub to our uh, channel and then write in Geschenk because um, the raffle then is starting with, with this. And I think it also worked if you already subbed from the last shows. So um, try it out. Um, good. Yeah, Miami, State of Champions. You became a quarterback in high school and then through all your college career. If you go in a little bit, I mean... We talked a little bit privately, but I can't really imagine how it is to be surrounded by by such a competitiveness, so much sports history, so many um, D1 schools with all different sports, NFL teams, uh, NBA teams, everything is down there, right? It's so... There's so, so much going on in South Florida. Like, um, people don't even make it to some of the sporting events until, like, I'm a diehard Miami Heat fan. But um, And somebody else asked earlier if I was a Marlins fan. Yeah. Definitely am. I just don't have it on my shoulder. <laughs> um, Marlins are baseball, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they changed their logo right as I was getting the tattoo, and I really wasn't sure about it at first, so I just didn't put it on there. <laughs> um, and I don't have the University of Miami on there either because they didn't recruit me. Even though I grew, <laughs> I grew up, a, I grew up a huge Hurricane fan, but um, uh, but no, South Florida sports has always been like that. And um, I think I get your question was like, yeah, how, how it? Was, I mean. It describe it a little bit to be surrounded like that what it means for the kids down there how how present is it because i can imagine maybe that's oh, a completely kid. different kids in alaska maybe don't think much well, about uh, going pro sports right well it's like one the kids down there maybe. the kids down there know it's doable um from my high school we had geno smith was probably the biggest name and geno's big bro to me like we worked out pretty much every off season except this last one just because i wasn't down there um but uh 
yeah, like I said, it's just the kids down there know it's doable. But when I was in school in Ohio and it's like, man, if you saw the little kids in South Florida and how they're moving, it's just different. And Mm -hmm. it literally and I say South Florida and you'll hear me say that a Mm -hmm. lot because like you got there's three counties that have contributed just between these three counties. People are like, oh, the state of Texas, the state of California. Mm -hmm. No, bro, we're talking about three counties that are maybe 85, like an 85 mile radius produces more nfl talent than Damn. anywhere else in the world it's crazy and we're i'm confident to stand on that i'll argue with whoever about it like yeah some other states have had better quarterbacks and things like that but um as far as like just athletes and and actual talent that's producing mm-hmm. you know um is it is it that that is it the reason for this confidence some people would call it cockiness what It's the way we prepare. Um, Florida. We talk trash. And we exactly what Florida kids probably <laughs> but it's, bringing. Uh, I know I can't curse on here, but like <laughs> from a young age, our one of our chances is like talk-ish, hit stick, and whatever. Yeah. And, but like that's our thing. It's like we talk trash and we play football. Yeah. And we do it at a really high level. And if you're from a place that is like shut up and dribble, probably is going to rub you the wrong way. Um, but I'm never talking crazy to like my teammates or, or anything like that. Now, if I'm in a game and a dude's saying something to me, I got comebacks for days, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just part of the culture down there. And so, um, the rivalries in South Florida, like my high school, we went up against, like I said, Devin Bush, Josh Metellus, um, Stanford Samuels, Devin Gill, all four of those guys went to go play D1 schools. Three of them are in the NFL starting at that. Um, their quarterback went division one, one of their wide receivers is Jacor Pearson. He's the top dude in the XF or one of the top receivers in the XFL right now or UFL. And, um, yeah, I mean, that confidence carries with us outside of South Florida. So that's why a lot of teams, if they want to win, they probably got some South Florida boys on their team to do it. So sounds great. Max, we have to go to Florida. Yeah, I actually, I actually like Florida because I have one interaction in my whole life with a celebrity where a celebrity liked something on Instagram. What? And it was one of the probably most notorious Florid- Floridians. Flor- Is it Floridians? Yeah, huh? Floridian. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khaled liked my, liked my video for some reason. Really? I, I don't know. Yeah, I, for sure. DJ Khaled liked your video. Him. I single-handedly went into <laughs> in elementary school our like school choir director was actually good friends with him oh, for real? <laughs> got my mom's god bless you with a lot of things it was not a singing voice and it was not a musical <laughs> instrument or anything like that and uh yeah i was in the choir just because we were performing for dj Khaled at like a winter <laughs> festival <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no. um you have a wonderful voice i i can imagine that after that show when we put it up to youtube and spotify people are calling me and asking hey if you could um read maybe that. books or something because you have a really clear deeper but really nice to listening voice i was definitely the guy in college that would rather do a presentation than than a um than a paper for yeah. sure like one i hate typing and just sitting there but um but yeah talking in front of people being that kind of outgoing person has never been a, a real issue for me so hmm. yeah maybe it's maybe it's, it's a future career do you i can't do what robbie and 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 um ah, yeah. Aaron did the other day because <laughs> i don't know enough german yet you know i'm sprechen a little deutsch <laughs> you know I, the basics like you're gonna spiel in american easter football i can identify <laughs> myself at least that's good not bad but, uh, <laughs> But yeah, that's yeah. a I gotta I got ways to go. Are Great. you by chance take uh, talking about the rookie show? No, they commentated the AFL game. Did huh? Ah, yeah. what, would you ask me to do first? Yeah, yeah. and you Sorry, were at the baptism. Yeah, yeah. but it was you funny because Berend Berend did it in true German. Yeah, and and Robbie because Robbie lives in in the states in seven years, right? He was so going he's going back and forth. Yeah, exactly. He's going <laughs> back and forth, and then somebody wrote me a message and said. Who is commentating the AFL game today? And I said, yeah, these two guys. And they said, okay, it's funny, but very German. Because, <laughs> you know, in Germany, you also have differences. And they both are really from the north. And they are more... I heard have you seen this touchdown, yeah? <laughs> yeah, so they, they, they have like their own, own dialect. But it's okay. Um, yeah. So high school, college time was over. You graduated graduated in 2020 then you had a couple of stops also with the cfl right yeah and some tryouts and everything and then apparently somebody called you right and asked you 
what are you gonna do in 2024 yeah nick gustav really yeah he reached out to me we were actually in bc lions uh training camp together in 2021 and um i know my name popped up on the boards because uh our xfl team got chopped like that was that was terrible but um um i had a couple other teams from the elf actually reaching out i mean a longtime family friend of mine is matt johnson the head coach at hamburg and um he he's like there's pictures of him throwing at my 10 year old birthday party like a football back and forth right so i've been exposed to european football um kevin burke played for vienna that is what i wanted um, to say you with your school there also mount union there are some connections to europe yeah, right exactly so i i mean i've had my eyes on it for a while and then given the circumstances of what happened and with the team being chopped i mean i didn't really have an you know an option and to go from almost being in a position where I'm competing for a starting spot on this team to now you're no job and there's mm. 400 other guys in the mm. same boat plus the draft picks that are coming out. It's just like I didn't want to be caught up in the wash again. And the more important thing was just getting on the field somewhere this year. So, um, yeah, I plan to take full advantage of this opportunity. And like I said, the fact that I'm over in Europe, I never thought it would be because of football. But, um yeah, I'm going to enjoy this opportunity and, uh, you know, we're going to, like I said, get your popcorn ready. We're going to put some stuff up on the field this year. Great, great. And somebody's writing in. I think it's every time the same. <laughs> <laughs> Came for League of Legends, stayed for Pirates Cove. We loved it. Um, the exclamation mark geschenk only works for subscribers so if you subscribed or if you want to subscribe to our channel um do it now because then you can win these awesome trading cards i'm gonna say it a lot of times and if you want to have this awesome crew neck nike raiders sweatshirt go on the online shop and buy it i'm gonna ship it and if you want i can also put the autograph on the paper if you want because i'm running the shop too <laughs> so if we're gonna have a first now we're gonna have a multiple streams at the same time is that okay yeah you want to go some people saying that they couldn't get on to the twitch, twitch stream and they, you want to go live yeah you, you just put it on there it but, yeah just silent it so you don't oh yeah it. absolutely yeah. then they can can do it oh and Zigaman subscribe thanks 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 Zigaman for the sub in the 11 month streak um yeah so niklas gustav called you and um why are you setting up your instagram live no, or whatever here. no i'm here with you i got you oh, yeah, yeah no all good <laughs> um nicholas gustav called you and and talked to you about the possibilities you were already yeah in contact you'd say kevin Burke is from your school right there was yeah. also an austrian playing at your school what was his name um there was at my school yeah uh there no. was there was therese scott there was roman namdar and bo diesel ah yeah exactly played. and Bo Diesel and Roman Nemder yeah, played they, both. Uh, Roman, they played for Roman and Therese played together on the Rangers. Rangers, exactly. And then yeah, yeah, Bo yeah. and uh and Kevin played on for the Vikings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there were connections, and then you decided to go here. Um, never been in Europe before, right? No. How was the moment when you stepped out of the airplane in Munich, right? Yeah, in Munich, and then flew 45 minutes over the Swiss Alps to here, or Austrian to, Alps. Yeah, actually, I landed in Zurich. And, and then, do we talk about that? Do you no. remember what happened with my flight? If you want, you decide. It's all right. We figured it out. <laughs> We're here now. Um, <laughs> you can just... You're, okay, <laughs> tell your travel story to the world. All right, so <laughs> let's just say my itinerary was sent in German. And, <laughs> and now that's the it, problem. I had it translated. But on top of that, I was also moving from Ohio to South Florida. That was a 17-hour drive. I got sick the first week I was back there and I only had another week to move out. So like, or uh, a week to move in. And um, yeah, long story short, I missed my <laughs> flight completely by a whole day. Like I thought I was flying out on the fourth. I was supposed to get here on the fourth or <laughs> something right. along those lines. And yeah, they, uh, oh, I woke up to, you know, you ever missed a meeting? And you go, you wake up to like 17 missed calls and something like that. <laughs> I did. Right. Like you, you're you like, oh, this ain't good. Like, I had old how, can I, how can I convince them that I died? Like, <laughs> basically. basically. But and then you did something magical with nobody. Yeah. We, so we don't know what. I went to the airport <laughs> and figured it out kind of. Uh, <laughs> it was a secret weapon thing. Um, but no, I basically just went to the airport and explained to them the situation or how I thought it was going. Just like, look, like I obviously wouldn't miss this on purpose. Like 
here's my entire itinerary in German. Like, what can you do? And yeah, they were like, yeah, we can rebook you. You'll be on a flight later today, but you'll stop in Zurich. And then from Zurich to Munich, is that okay? And I'm like, Whatever. yeah, what's the fee? And she was like, no, it's free. And I'm like, thank you. I'll be right back. <laughs> and went to go get my bags and came back. And yeah, I made the flight. So we're here. We made it. Perfect. Um, Perfect. Yeah. And that's, that's uh, yeah, I can remember. I can remember the faces of our, our leadership here when when it was like, yeah. Well, um, Oz, Oz called me <laughs> and he was like, D-Lo. And I'm like, Oz. And he's like, you're in Munich, right? Like, please tell me you're in Munich and you just missed the bus. And I was like, I'm in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So he, he was just like, man, like, I'm going to call you back in 30 minutes. And then he called me back and he was like, you need to beg. <laughs> like, go to go to the airport and see what you can and try do. to figure it out yeah, yeah and it worked, worked out it was meant perfect. to be perfect now you're here um time is run down a little bit um yeah, my bad y'all i got i got no. everybody else on here late all good <laughs> all good all good um to all the f followers from d there on instagram go and follow our raiders channel right go to instagram and follow us on on uh on instagram um yeah on all our channels to get yeah. the newest highlights uh around d -Lo. And we can clip some of that so you can put it on your page as well if you want. If no, you I want got that. you. Um, ah, and oh, even and Ricardo commented, our 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 man behind this behind the cameras commented on his live channel, yeah, yeah. and he linked it in there. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Ricardo. So um, yeah, you here. You had you had a couple of uh, weeks already practice camp and everything. And um, how would you describe your let's say the first moment of football here a little bit maybe about the talent maybe a little bit about the guys how how is it um first thing i'll say is i was actually pleasantly surprised when i got here um the austrian football players here have a really high football iq um so the guys just kind of get it like you don't have to tell them more than once you know um philip han richie weber marco mm -hmm. ap like those guys are really really smart and sorry if i didn't mention everybody um toby hazi philip you know everybody's been uh It's been cool though, just getting to know all the guys and um, like their football backgrounds. And you guys have had a really good, um, I don't want to say pyramid system, but you guys have the youth camps. Mm -hmm. Like a, so, uh, you know, just getting the chemistry down with the guys the last couple of weeks has been everything. Um, and yeah, we just continue to work out these kinks, man. And every day you can feel like we're taking another step forward. You know, so um, the American talent that we got, you know, with uh, with Dev, Shay, Farad. Um, like everybody like it's it's been so cool to just be around a bunch of guys that kind of get it and just want to win and they don't really care who's getting the ball or where it's going as long as it's you know going to the right spot and um making my job kind of easy you mm -hmm. know like they get open they can catch they can block i'm so. impressed by darian too yeah that kid can fly <laughs> kid can fly. i i mean my, he's from texas so we talk <laughs> about like texas and florida speed yeah. a lot But uh, he reminds me a lot of the guys I had back right. home that are, they got that wiry frame and they can move. And, and he, so, he, he strides, right? And he's yeah, just this. Times up perfectly with my arm. So. Uh, like last time you throw that wonderful ball. And and he, I mean, yeah. I, I I think since I'm with the Raiders and I want, don't want to hype up too much, I'm always like, <laughs> you know, I'm always like, woo, woo. <laughs> um, how is it in How I Met Your Mother, the Woo Girls? Yeah. <laughs> like, woo. Um, hey Ricardo, can we put that on the soundboard? Like the, 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 the woo just woo from Paul? Yeah. No. With the video uh, though. But I can't remember a receiver um with his skill set. Um Max, do you I mean you didn't saw him live yet? I haven't seen you, him yet. Ah, he, so it's wonderful to watch. It's really I mean it's yeah, bro, it's, it's nice. A, it's a it's a lot of fun for us. Um And like I said, that excitement, like yeah. it, I mean, it, it, the O line knows, like, man, if I give D Lo a little bit of time, he's going to find not just Darian, but, you know, all the AP, others, yeah. Philip, Richie, Marco, like Felix, Felix, yeah. Kobe, like yeah. everybody's getting open, you know. Um, they have a really good understanding of the concepts that we're doing. And um, it allows our guys to just kind of play. Like, we don't have to think. And that's what you've seen, like, the last couple of weeks is mm -hmm. like, You know, guy might have had a down day one of the like the, earlier in the week, and then he bounces back the next two practices, and uh, it's just an attribute to one of the coaches. You know, they put in their time and effort with us with Jags and uh, and Coach Eager. Um, the O line's taking those steps that they need to up front, and uh, like you said with Thomas, that was a big you know shot in the arm for them too. And uh, yeah, every day we're just building. Hmm. Still not me. 
Hey, that's yeah, Uncle Charlie. Thanks for your sub, and <laughs> he also <laughs> he also has a question to you. <laughs> talking about chemistry who's the funniest guy in the locker room yet who's the I mean, funniest guy I mean, in the locker room in the offense name two room. one on purpose and one who's involuntarily <laughs> the funniest um <laughs> uh it's gonna be a talk actually i'll give you two that are both funny i'll give you isaiah kleberg and philip timmerman without <laughs> trying <laughs> yeah, <let's go. laughs> i mean philip is i think philip is from a different planet Yeah, nah, man, he's planet funny. comedy. He, he, yeah, just keeping his head cool is the yeah. biggest thing. But uh, <laughs> nah, he's he's a character, man. And you know, the rest of the guys in the locker room, we're all like I said, we're we're gelling really well with each other, which um, you can sense like that family thing that Coach Herman does, and I'm sure Ricardo's got a clip up of him saying "family, family, family" <laughs> somewhere. But uh, yeah, no, that's exactly what it feels like. And you know, we talked about the team activity that's coming yep. up, so. Um, Yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting the guys or getting to know the guys a little bit more where they came from and things like that. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be another notch in the belt or another part of the story for this season. Sounds great. Talking about the season, season's going to come super fast. Yeah, under 20 days. Yeah. And um, you come in from a very successful college program, right? I mean, you were a powerhouse in D3, a lot of big names. A lot of national championships. Um, and the question is always the same, but what is your answer? What are your goals for this year? And what is your, maybe say a personal goal and maybe also like the team goal or something? What How um, you would describe that? I say, well, team goal, we know, one, we got to get back in the playoffs. I think last year left a really bad taste in everybody's mouth. Um, I mean, we don't got to go into all the other stuff off the field, obviously, but I made sure when I got on the phone, like, hey, how did you feel about last season? Cool. Whether it was good, bad, in mm -hmm. between, like, all right, cool. We got that out the way. Elephants out the room. Now we can focus on the, the real stuff that we yeah. got to get to, right? Um, but I think the biggest thing is just going to be taking it week by week. Um, that was one of the big things at my school. Like, it was 15 game seasons every year mm -hmm. or 10 regular season and then five if you want to win the national championship, right? And one of those things is like, you know, and it's one of my sayings that I take with me every single day I go to work, but um, it's really hard to go 20 and 20. You know, it's doable, but it's hard, right? But I got a way better chance of going one of one each play. Mm. And so one of one each play, one game at a time, and just continue to build, um, you know, add, take away, add, take away, whatever you got to do to get to that spot to, you know, chase perfection. And um Yeah, that's what I just want to rub off on a team. Like, you know, hey, doesn't matter what happened last year. We're looking at our team right now, and on paper, we're pretty good. You know, we should should do some work. But uh, at the same time, you know, don't shy away from the work. Don't shy away from competition. Don't take any shortcuts, and the rest will handle itself. So um, the expectations, obviously, is to bring a championship back to T-Roll. You guys won an AFL one. I hope I can be the one to give you an ELF one. Sounds um, Yeah, that's what champagne's for. Champagne like, sounds, champagne. sounds champagne. good. Champagne. <laughs> <laughs> really, really nice expl explanation. Um, yeah, no, I mean that's that's I think brings it down, right, Max? Definitely, definitely. Um, if you guys have more questions, write them in the chat. We have a couple more minutes, um, and uh, put them in the chat and let us know. We will answer everything. Um, yeah, what else? do i miss i yeah i wanted to ask you one last question talking about championships um what was your most or most memorable or what was the best memory in your athlete athletic career is it more championship or a special moment maybe with a coach or maybe with with something happened around football um i think given and like i said we ain't got to be super personal but like i think winning that championship always will hold a place in my heart because given all that was going on and you know if you guys meet me at the fan day and stuff like that we can talk about it some if you want to know more if y'all are on my live or whatever you know dm me we can talk about it but i think after winning that championship for for a little bit i was actually able to just kind of smile and just let it all like out and just be loose and be me for a second and um I mean, that's what we all work towards, right? Mm -hmm. Like, no matter if you're at a job, you're trying to work to the big promotion, no matter all the ups and downs, obstacles you got to jump around, um, staying mentally tough through whatever adversity life throws at you. Another sub. Thanks for Let's the go. sub, Bertie. 
um, but yeah, we're actually in a hype train right now yeah, yeah. That's so we gotta keep on put the subs in put the subs in <laughs> and win this beautiful box of trading cards put subs in thank you thank you for the support <laughs> but uh but yeah just staying mentally tough through whatever adversity life throws at you and uh uh yeah winning that championship was definitely you know one of those things that i'll always hold with me forever and um yeah i mean that's that's i guess the biggest one other than start i remember my first game in little league i remember my first start in high school my last game in high school my first start in college my last game in college so um yeah through all the ups and downs i mean being able to call yourself a national champion like hey i did what i could have done and you know i was the best of the best that year and um you know you're always trying to replicate that or get back to it so um this is the first time in a while that i've had the i'm not just you know the guy that's the backup or something like that and um i'm the guy now and I'm, i know what my teammates mm -hmm. are going to be expecting of me so i'm ready to just like the work is already put in haze in the barn as they say mm -hmm. in the u.s and uh yeah i'm just ready to go sounds great and let's hope we're gonna have a lot of great memories with you and no you're doubt. gonna have hopefully a lot 12 is a big deal for you guys at quarterback so you know hope i know what the standards are i know what i gotta work up to i had i told you i had to laugh when somebody commented under your sign yeah. right? <laughs> so. what was the comment i didn't know it was i mean <laughs> if you know him daniel klaus uh, i call him out i will all love him he played here offensive lineman now is in hamburg and he wrote under the signing of Dilo like there's only one number 12 in my heart and it's sean shelton Then I wrote back, I was like, well, thank God you're on Hamburg. <laughs> and everybody's like, Whoa. so, so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was, it was okay. Um, and everybody smiled. No, nah, it's yeah. all good. But, like I said, that, um, that's football. You're going to have but, memories. With and guys. that's also that uh, Florida cockiness, right? To just answer it's back. Not and, cockiness. It's no, confident. or just not cockiness. It's swag, it's swag, 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 swag. But yeah, just, you know, we keep it with us wherever we go. We <laughs> yeah. take it into everything. And um, I mean, I know there's probably some people on this live that'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll definitely yeah. tag in on it too and say the same thing. But it's confidence in our work ethic. It's confidence on how we prepare, you know, doing all the little things. Like I said, like, it's my first time in a couple of years being the guy, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, like, if you understand football, you know, as a quarterback, only one guy can play. If you understand politics, that's also another thing, too. But I don't get too caught up on that. But doesn't mean I wasn't going to practice every day. Doesn't mean that I wasn't doing all the things that I needed to do. And the fact that I'm a Division three guy, three and a half years removed from school, and I'm still making things happen, you know it speaks I, for you what? yeah it speaks for itself so i don't i'm not like i said I, i know what i'm capable of and i know what i'm not capable of and uh i mean i've done it once within at the d3 level but it wasn't if you know my school you know it's not just a, a regular school <coughs> um i think we know what it, what we got uh i think we know we have what it takes to win we got great coaches i think the best coaching staff in the elf as far as like not just resume but you see the guys in the building mm -hmm. working and um Yeah, I mean, the players, and every, like, everything's just gelling how it needs to right now. And that's all you can ask for being two and a half weeks in the training camp. So, great. Just keep building. Great. Um, Hurti, thanks for all your subs. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. If you want to win these, um, you have now to write exclamation mark geschenk in it. Every subscriber have the chance to win it now. We're going to raffle it in a second after we choose of our songs of the day because we have this category we have a playlist on spotify oh. with the best songs in the world you know every guest and max and myself we have to put in a song every week so now you have you put your song of the day or song of your life whatever song of the day um what is this spotify I it's all right just write it down just I've... write it on the paper and then we put them in later <laughs> <That's all>. <laughs> <laughs> um... spotify app is not working That song of the day is gonna probably be. Now, okay, so you guys aren't you? You guys don't listen to Drake too much, do you? Drake, a yeah. little bit, a little hmm. bit. Yeah, Depends on going on with him right now. Yeah. Him? Okay, so I'm not. So going are, are you gonna go with Kendrick or are you gonna go go Drake? What's going on there? Music? I mean, it's, it's I some actually music, wanted some, some music beef, but like beef? I grew up, I'm Drake, Future, Young Thug in that order, right? But like, so you're a champagne poppy. Like on your <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that, but uh, he, you know, he's getting kind of cooked right now. I hope that the allegations are false, so I can remain a, you know, Drake fan, and he's got good music. So, um, but 
song of the day is going to be Million Dollar Baby by, I can't remember the guy's name. If you can you pull it up on your phone. Is it on Spotify? If you type in Million Dollar, and it's like a, huh? Tommy Richman. Yeah, it was on that practice the other day too. Tommy Richman, yeah. It's a, uh, it's like a little summer bop, and it don't got no curse words. It's you know, it's a nice Sounds little great. summer song for sure. Um, I take a song which uh, Ricardo would choose because it's our party song this week. It's called Pedro. Oh uh, my! <laughs> <laughs> so nice. <laughs> We we put that on the playlist and Max, what are you gonna put on the playlist? Yeah, I, I gotta follow up. I'm gonna put my boy DJ Khaled on it. <laughs> <laughs> Out here grinding. <laughs> I'll take it. Sounds <laughs> great. I'll definitely take it. So last chance, right? Exclamation mark. Geschenk in the chat to get the chance Just, to he's win trying, he's this. To, get in there, man. Um, to win this. Uh, Does he make like an extra account and get in that way? I don't hey, know. Look, I'm trying to buy you some time here. <laughs> uh, Ricardo, what do we have to do to to do the raffle? You have to click, right? Yeah. Okay, then uh, we count down from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go and press the button. Ricardo, who will be the winner? Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Gary. Gary2667 has won the trading cards. Gary, please write us an email to office at raiders.at with your address and you gonna get it. Send it to you. Perfect. Um, that's it for today. Thank you very much, Dilo, for your time, uh, for your words, to um, for for all your thoughts you shared with us and the Raiders and the people out there. It was really nice. And um, do you have some last words to the camera, to the audience out there for today? Uh, if you can, get to these games, fill up the stadium. Like I said, tell a friend, tell a cousin, tell an uncle, bring your kids if it's a service animal, bring them too. <laughs> there we go. We can get around that one. And uh, yeah, man, let's have fun this season. And uh, yeah, like like the little emoji said, we're gonna put on a show for you guys, and you know we'll handle business where we can. So looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Hey, thanks everyone. Make sure to go to the fan day. Uh, do what I can't do. Uh, meet the players. Meet the other fans. Have a great time. And like Dilo said, uh, go to the games. Um, party hard and like let's win this yes sir thanks um if you want to meet dilo like max said come to defend it if you want to meet max go to garda lunch <laughs> open <laughs> at the lago di garda uh, there are going to be a lot of tourists this weekend there's a holiday right so yeah. it's not yeah. far away from here it's a nice place in italy so <laughs> watch out for max he's going to be at the beach bar not probably uh, in the amusement park or the, in the amusement park um Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for all the support. Great, great, great. Really, uh, we really appreciate it. And we do this here just a little bit for us, but the most time for you guys out there. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for following on our channels and all these things. And uh, we're going to see you soon, either at the Fan Day or in the stadium or, or on both. And at the end, um, go Raiders. Go Raiders. Yeah. Stay healthy. See you next week, Monday. At the Pirates Cove. Macht es gut, bleibt gesund. Ciao, Kakao.